The Main Wild Trail. Heaven Letter Number 5802. October 13, 2016. What means the most to you in your life? Who are you really? Whose life are you living actually? Yours? Or are you attempting someone else's life? There is a tendency for some, perhaps many, to purloin the life of another as if you are a stranger to your own self. Live your life. Be true to yourself. There may be more than one path that is truly yours. You may follow false ghosts all your life. You may emulate others and cast yourself adrift. Find out who you are, and follow your own steps, one step after another. Surely, the meaning of your own life does not require that you follow the crowd as though the general population knows more about who you are and what you are supposed to appear as in this lifetime at whatever crossroads. No one knows as much as you do about yourself, even when you may be floundering. You do not have to be as others seem to think you ought to be. Oh, yes, you may have gone along with someone else's thoughts. Beloveds, you are trying out life. You are trying it out for size. Don't buy any another's life for your own. What is the percentage in this? You are not someone else. You are you. You have your own star or stars to follow. Furthermore, come along with me. Follow me. I will lead you to your path. Your path may surprise you. Your path is like no other. Your true path will take you to the top of the mountain. You do not have to take the long way around. Of course, it is not for you to agree or disagree with another's path. You do not sweep your broom across another's path either. You are unique. You have your own recognized path even when you don't know what your path exactly is. Dear ones, there is a path or perhaps more than one path with your name embroidered on it. Yes, you try one path or another, when, finally, you start to step into your own made-for-you path. Somehow you find yourself on a path you were meant to follow at this time. Likely, your path may not be what you may have thought. It may well be unexpected. You will breathe a sigh of relief and find it exhilarating to see how right your path is for you. When you are on a path that is truly yours, you feel your purpose as if you had known it all your life. If you stray from yourself, recognize straying from your path as something you will get over. The day will come when you decide that you must know who you are. This is when you come to life. This is when you put away the kin photos of yourself and expand the quarters of your life. This may feel to you as being perilous, this revealing of yourself to yourself and subsequently to others. This is anxiety relieving, your self-disclosure and also the revelation of yourself to the world. Stand tall, beloveds. You may be only one diamond on earth, yet what a diamond of truth you will turn out to be. Your detour could well have been on a high road, yet the road you take has to be your high road. Now, it is not that you literally follow a map. You are given no map. We could say that your DNA has a rot all set. You find your way. Know in your heart that your life is about discovering your rot even blindly. A purpose for you is set, and then, you discover your purpose. Eureka! It is not that you have to be concerned about discovering your purpose. There are no worries here. Have lightly in your heart that your purpose is finding its way to you. Await its arrival. Enjoy your roundabout trip. You will discover an X for you to follow. It will come to you. Meanwhile, you are on the mean wild trail. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org